so today we will learn chapter 1 physical quantities and also measurement so physical quantity is defined as the quantity which can be measured it can be categorized into two types so the first one is the basic quantities okay where basic quantity is defined as a quantity which cannot be derived from any physical quantity okay so this is basic quantity and the second one is the derived quantities where derived quantities is defined as the quantity which can be expressed in terms of the base quantity meaning that it's a combination from uh, base quantities okay so next 1.1 is the dimensions of physical quantity okay dimension is defined as the technique or method which the physical quantity can be expressed in terms of the combinations of basic quantities okay so dimension is the technique of the method okay which the physical quantity can be expressed in terms of the combination of basic quantities okay so when you want to find dimension you need to put a square bracket here okay like this this is the square bracket and then physical quantities Okay, so we try to uh, find what is the dimension for a basic quantity first. So number one, okay, here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven basic quantities. So number one, dimension for the mass is capital M, okay, and the symbol k kilogram. So we use kg. Length dimension for length is L. And unit is in meter. Okay, length here you can refer to distance as well. Okay, so time here is capital T, unit SI is second. Electric current dimension we can write capital A or we can write capital I, and the unit is ampere, so it's capital A. Temperature is uh, theta. And the unit is Kelvin. Okay, amount of sustain. Amount of sustain is N. And unit is mole. Okay, luminous intensity. The dimension is J. And the symbol is CD. Okay, so these are the seven basic quantities. Okay, so next we, ref we go back. Uh, we go down to 1.1b determine the dimension for derived so now this is derived quantities okay so number one is the velocity so ve velocity is equals to change of displacement over change of time okay so s is a displacement so the dimension is l okay we don't need to put bracket because this l determine that this is already dimension for the displacement okay so dimension for time is capital t okay dimension for displacement is l so finally we get lt negative one where l is the length so the unit is meter t is a time taken dimension for time so our unit is second okay so this is the unit for velocity okay next we go to volume volume is width times height times the the height okay with white and height okay so with white and height r is in uh, length eh? okay so dimension for length the width is l the height and the uh, width is same eh? so is equal to l cube okay so the unit is in meter cube Okay, acceleration is dv over dt dv from question number one is lt negative one and t is the time okay so finally we will have lt negative two okay so l is in meter the unit and t is in second the unit okay so finally you will get meter per second squared okay so lt negative two is the dimension okay ms negative two is the unit Okay, next one, we go to density. 
So density is defined as the mass per volume. Okay, mass per volume. So mass dimension for mass is capital M. Dimension for volume, if you refer back just now, uh, we will get L cube. Okay, we will get L cube. So you write L cube. Finally, you will get ML negative 3. So M, dimension for M, the unit is kg. L is the, the length, so it's meter negative 3. Okay, momentum, P equals to NV. Okay, so dimension for M, capital M, dimension for the velocity, LT, negative 1. Okay, so unit is kg, L in meter, T is second. So this is the unit for momentum. So you may pause the video if let's say uh, you cannot follow or you want to do it yourself first. Okay, next one, force F equals to MA. So M is in capital M. A is the acceleration is LT negative 2. Okay, so our unit M is kg, L is in meter, T is per second squared. Okay, next one is the work done. Work done equals to Fs. Okay, so F from the questions above is MLT negative 2. Okay, S here we are referring to the distance, uh, this displacement, not the second. Uh. Okay, S here is the displacement, so it's L. So finally, we will get dimension for the work is L, ML square T negative 2. Okay, so the unit is kg meter square. Uh, t is second okay and last one is the power equals to the rate of the power okay so work done is just now ml square t negative 2 and the time taken is capital t so we will get ml square t negative 3 okay so the unit is kg meter square second negative 3. Okay, so that's all for today. Our dimension for derived quantities. So we will continue with the next lesson to find the homogeneity of the dimension. Thank you.